your girl Destiny from Destiny's Lifestyle Vlogs. I'm back with another video. And my topic today is about Krishan Rock going back to her hometown church where she lived at when she was a child. And before she got famous, I guess, she, she went to donate to it and listen to the word. And um, those of y'all that don't know who Krishan is, um, that was Blueface's girlfriend, but now is, you know, his second baby mama because his first baby mama, I guess, was his high school sweetheart. But him and Krishan met through, like, I guess a show that he created, kind of like his version of the Bad Girls Club. And he said that, <laughs> he said a lot of crazy things, but he said she just standed out to him. She, he said she was a little weird before they started, you know, I guess messing around before they started dating. But to me, weird means different and different is good. So, you know, when a person calling you uh, weird, they really saying you different from everybody else. So, you know, I think that's amazing when people say that, but he meant it like with ill intent, like rude intent. But yeah, they met through, you know, him, you know, I guess auditioning girls and she's the one that stood out on his show to him. So that's how they ended up, I guess, getting together. And then a lot of y'all know her from a lot of the controversy and um, tabloids, you know, the bad tabloids about them fighting each other and stuff. That's kind of how she got known too by like fighting with him all the time. And, you know, their relationship, you know, was just real toxic. You know, and he was always, I noticed, you know, saying rude shit to her to get her amped up to, you know, want to fight him or say crazy shit back to him. And then um, another thing was, too, I noticed, like, he was always trying to feed her alcohol. And you don't need a person around like that that's always trying to feed you alcohol. And they were smoking weed, which is nothing wrong with that, smoking weed. But he was always, you know, antagonizing her. Well, y'all know what I mean, antagonizing her, um, gaslighting her, you know. And... Hey, you guys. I'm back off the phone. But, yeah, I was talking about how he antagonizes her, belittles her, gaslights her, feeds her alcohol, you know. He was doing all of that, you know making her want to fight him and she was just going with it because you know he he was helping her you know become a star basically but um also he was trying to make her look bad too and you really don't need an individual around like that no matter how much you loved them and you could tell that she loved him more than he loved her it's always like it was always her loving him a little bit more than she loved him. It was never equal, you know. So, I'm glad that she went to church, to her hometown. I'm glad she around positive energy. I'm proud of her for donating to her church and doing more positive things with her life before her child comes. Because her child definitely needs positivity, you know. Because... You know, children don't ask to be here. None of us ask to be here. So, it's like, you know, I'm glad that she's making the situation as positive as she can. Because this is the same person that she has is having a kid with that also said that, like, his other baby mama could take care of the kid. Because he's not going to take care of it. But you can take care of it. And this is a baby that you didn't have to mess up your body for. I'm like, I'm just wondering to myself, like, like, why did you have a kid with somebody who has that type of mentality? And then a lot of people say this man is off drugs. And I, I kind of do see that with, you know, the way he thinks about things. So I'm like, yeah, I'm glad she, she left his butt alone because there's no need for her to be dealing with that. Especially with her being pregnant. You know, she needs all the positivity in the world right now. She don't need to be dealing with crap like that. So I'm so proud of her for doing her testimony too. Um, 
do donating, you know, doing positive things just in general. I'm, I'm just so proud of her for doing that. But that's all I wanted to say on this video. You know, always try to, you know, when you meeting somebody, get really get to know them because some people they just have. I say that I say it like this: some people have the devil in them, and you really got to be careful who you who you meeting and trying to date. You know, you gotta like thoroughly get to know them because I feel like if you don't like. You already set yourself up to fail, so I'm glad she's learned her lesson and she's still young. She's 23, so I'm glad that she's still learning now because she has a lot of life to live and she has her child on the way, so she got to be a positive role model for her child. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say about that topic, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. It's your girl Destiny from Destiny's Lifestyle Vlogs. Toodles.